South Park The Stick of Truth was released on March 4th of 2014, which is kind of surprising after everything the game's gone through to be released. The game was originally planned to be released in 2013, but was pushed back drastically due to the publisher of the game, THQ, going out of business during the game's development. The Stick of Truth is an extremely unique licensed game because the creators of South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, actually worked on this game alongside the staff at Obsidian Entertainment. They provided the script, did the voices, and oversaw the entire project. When I first heard about this game, I got really excited. South Park is one of my favorite shows, and I've been watching every episode as they came out for the last 16 years. Combining one of my favorite shows with my favorite game genre, the turn-based RPG, made this game feel like someone was making it specifically for me. The game could almost be considered an entire season of South Park. In total, the runtime of this game for me was around 11 hours, which is around the length of two seasons of South Park. The entire time you're playing this game, it feels like an episode, and the way the cutscenes play out make this game almost undiscernible from the actual show, which can be a good or a bad thing for some people. People that love the show will love this, however, if you're not a fan of South Park the TV series, there's not really much for you here, and if you're offended by South Park's jokes, I would steer clear of the game. If the South Park movie pushed what could be put into movies, this takes it even further with what could be put into a game. The plot has your family moving to South Park and you're given the task to go out and make friends. The game takes place directly after the events on the Black Friday story arc of Season 17 if you follow the show. The episodes do give a decent backstory for the game, however, they're not required to understand what's going on at all. You're almost immediately wrapped up in a make-believe battle between humans and elves, and most of the game's plot revolves around that. Oh, and Nazi zombies. The game is laugh out loud funny at many parts and really takes South Park to the extreme. I never thought I'd give an abortion in a video game, but then here comes the stick of truth. You really never know what to expect with this game. The twists and turns this game takes are insane and keeps the plot captivating throughout the entire time you play it. The gameplay is fantastic. Seeing a fully realized city of South Park is great, and it's fun to explore all that the city has to offer. The turn-based battle mode in this game is also really good. It feels a lot like Super Mario RPG's cruder younger brother. You only control two characters in combat, which keeps the battle mode fairly simple and accessible for people that haven't played many turn-based RPG games. It's pretty much what you'd expect from a turn-based RPG. Each character has their own special ability and spell set, as well as a normal attack. When attacking or blocking, you have to hit buttons at the correct time to mitigate damage or do more damage. There are also times where you have to do ranged attacks or close attacks based on the enemy's stance. At the start of the game, you're able to choose between four classes, each with their own skill set. However, they really don't drastically change how the game is played that much. However, it does give you a reason to go back and play the game again after beating it. Playing through the game as a thief, I focused on damage over time effects on my opponents, which felt really satisfying. The gear in the game is pretty cool because it changes how your character looks. You can customize it further by changing the color of the items and adding modifiers to the items to enhance them. The weapons are pretty much what you'd expect from South Park. I used everything from swords to used tampons as weapons. Despite hitting max level at level 15, there's quite a bit here to keep customizing your character which keeps the character growth interesting. You'll get more than one level up per hour, so when playing the game never feels grindy. When exploring the world environments, there's a few puzzles that require to use some abilities that you'll gain throughout the game, such as your various fart abilities which cause explosions over fire, or your ranged attack to shoot things around the environments. The puzzles using these can be sometimes a little confusing, but once you figure them out, it's amazingly satisfying. Graphically, the game looks just like the show. Like, exactly like the show. The graphical style of this game is fantastic. They completely nailed the look of the show. Everything from the walk cycles to the environments all looks so authentic. The audio in this game is great. A lot of it's taken from songs heard in the show, as well as the show's background music. Whenever you load into your game, it has the same South Park guitar strum heard on the show. The audio enhances the game considerably and makes every area fun to be in. If you're interested in this game, I think you can figure out whether or not you'll like it with just two questions. One, do you like the show South Park? And number two, do you like turn-based RPGs? If you said no to either of these questions, this game isn't really something that you would enjoy. Overall, Stick of Truth is an incredibly enjoyable RPG that's extremely faithful to the South Park series. There's so many wonderful elements to the game that combine to create a fantastic experience. There aren't many games that are laugh-out-loud funny, but South Park Stick of Truth manages to pull it off. I'd recommend this game to anyone who's a fan of the show. New Kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then.
Get up.